everyone this is pallavi pujar from rasayanika and previously we have discussed regarding few important topics for which are very very important for csir net exam and similarly we are going to discuss regarding the ul free arrangement reaction and its stereochemistry how exactly we do have and before that don't forget to subscribe our rasayanika channel and like it share it now let's start with ul free arrangement reaction we know that in organic chemistry there are so many rearrangement reaction it has means every rearrangement reaction it uh, has its own peculiarity and similarly in case of all free arrangement reactions also we are starting with the alpha diazo carbonyl compounds so the conversion of alpha diazo carbonyl compounds to ketene intermediate we call it as a all free arrangement reaction and further the formed ketene reaction will be undergoing some carboxylic acid or ester or else any amide derivatives simultaneously just upon treatment with any weak acidic nucleophiles like alcohol amines etc now coming to the reaction part as you can see on the screen firstly you have your diazo ketone just you are treating in the presence of ag that is ag oxide you can use and specifically these ul free arrangement reactions can be undergoing through photolysis or else thermolysis and even transition metal catalysis also but sometimes the transition metal catalysis will be avoided just you you can use some silver oxide type of reagents right now you can see overall the reaction type so first thing as you can see the diazo ketone here okay so where you can see azo group this is diazo group and this is carbonyl compound so this is what the diazo ketone we can say overall and here firstly you have to you have to shift the electron towards the oxygen just let me shift and simultaneously the shift of double bond leads to the elimination of this into gas and after the into gas removal you are going to get your important ketene intermediate so just you are trapping the ketene intermediate and after that you are going to attack with either nucleophilic water or else alcohol or amine or else the formed ketene can undergo 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction in order to give four member cyclic products so right now you have you have the ketene so just let me show it overall so right now you have the this ketene this ketene so where h2o you have so oh minus so this nucleophile it will go and attack on the carbonyl carbon of ketene and it will give me corresponding carboxylic acid and the cyclo addition that is 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reaction will yield me four member cyclic product so this is what normal reaction general reaction regarding all free arrangement reaction apart from this what then all you have to know so whatever the diazo ketone we have taken its nature whether it is trans conformation or else cis conformation and how exactly it is giving me giving me the corresponding uh, derivatives so just let us go with respect to its mechanism part overall the all free arrangement reaction can be considered in two step manner or else concerted step also so concerted step where a single step reaction or else it may be step wise also so first thing whatever i have written that is step uh, concerted reaction so this is what okay so this is concerted and this is step wise reaction now coming to the concerted uh, reaction mechanism where the diazo carbonyl compound is in its cis conformation and it will rearrange itself just in order to remove the n2 gas and further after that you will getting your ketone and further what you have to do you have to follow with nucleophile attack and it will give me some carboxylic acid or any amide derivative so right now i have written it as carboxylic acid so this is concerted step so we have to know each and everything regarding the concerted step mechanism and step wise mechanism also i am going to explain you in detail right now this is what the concerted step you have where that alpha diazo carbonyl compound in a single step reaction it will remove the into gas and further it will leads to the formation of ketene and now in case of step wise reaction where you can see the alpha diazo carbonyl is in its trans conformation so in concerted mechanism it is in its cis conformation whereas in stepwise conformation it is in its trans conformation this trans conformation alpha diazo carbonyl further will be 
included with the N2 gas removal and then it will lead to the formation of keto carbon. So one extra step you can observe in this stepwise Wolf rearrangement mechanism that there will be the formation of carbon. So there will be the formation of carbon and this carbon further undergo one to shift in order to give your ketene. So this is what the arrow mark overall you can see in a reaction mechanism and you are getting at last your ketene. After that the ketene will be undergoing some reaction but sometimes it will not undergo and it will stop its reaction only till formation of ketene. So this, this is what the general mechanism we have with respect to with respect to the Wolf rearrangement reaction. Now coming to its stereochemistry, which is very, very important. So in case of stereochemistry, as we know that the normal alpha da azo uh, carbonyl compounds are planar structures. So these planar structures will not be, it will be having about 55 to 55 to 65 kilojoule per mole energy barrier. So that's why what it will do, it will be having uh, means in its equilibrium, it will try to be in its cis conformation or its trans conformation. So when it is undergoing concerted step mechanism, it will be in cis conformation. And when it is undergoing the stepwise conformation means stepwise mechanism, it will be there in its trans conformation. And further it will leads to the formation of carbon and that carbon will be undergoing one to shift rearrangement and it will give me the ketin. Now coming back to the stereochemistry concept why we prefer the S that is SC conformation that is S cis conformation or else uh, trans conformation over these two. So just let us look at it okay. So always the cis conformation is mainly preferred over trans conformation okay. So the trans conformation is not preferred but cis conformation is mainly preferred because the cis conformation as you can see here this is what the cis conformation you have and this is trans conformation. In case of cis conformation the leaving group leaving group and migrating group both are anti periplanar to each other. If they are anti periplanar to each other in cis conformation, it will readily kick out the N2 gas and the R1 is a migratory group, it will go and attack to the deficient carbon center, right? So this is possible in a single step mechanism and that's why the uh, cis conformation will be undergoing the, uh, this is what, the concerted step mechanism. Now coming back to the trans, uh, conformation when you consider the trans mechanism where the trans conformation when you consider the leaving group and migratory group both are cis to each other okay so where they are not anti periplanar to each other and because of that reason the cis this is what uh, trans conformation you have it will be having the stepwise mechanism so first it will try to rearrange itself to the formation of carbon and after the keto carbon formation it will undergo ketene formation. So this is what the two things you have to remember regarding cis and trans conformation in Wolf rearrangement reaction. Now coming back to the cis and trans conformation. In case of cis conformation apart from this leaving group and the migratory group anti periplanar nature when you consider when you consider the charge on oxygen and nitrogen that is positive charge overall you can see the partial charges. So there will be some kind of cool Coulombic attraction. Because of this Coulombic attraction, we consider cis conformation over trans conformation, but not all the cases. Not all the cases. Why? Because just let me show you here. Okay, let me show you here. So when you have the R1 and R2 groups across across the alpha diazo ketone or else the diazo carbonyl compound you have. So the R1 is any alkyl group, but any alkyl group but R2 is hydrogen then the product will be cis favor 1. If both R1 R2 if both R1 R2 are alkyl groups are alkyl groups then it will be trans favored because there will be some kind of steric hindrance that's why it will be favoring trans product. So this is what you have to remember regarding the old free arrangement reaction. So the first thing whenever you have the two alkyl groups or the two substituents across the diazo carbonyl compounds in cis conformation if one is bulkier and another one will be smaller group the product will be cis one means the cis product will be formed. If you have the two bulkier group across the diazo 
diazocarbonyl compounds then what you can say the product will be trans favored okay so the trans favored so this key point you have to remember so no need of confusing and in case of the trans conformation i am going to explain you in brief okay so right now this much is enough so i hope you understood this stereochemistry part now move on just moving on with respect to the concerted mechanism in case of concerted mechanism as i have told as i have told here so this leaving group and migratory group both are anti periplanar to each other anti periplanar to each other and here after the removal of n2 gas r1 group will be migrating towards the deficient carbon and it will give me ketone so this is what the concerted step we have and already i have told regarding its coulombic attraction also and coming back coming back with respect to stepwise mechanism in case of stepwise mechanism what happens whatever the diazo carbonyl compound you have the leaving group and migratory group are not anti periplanar to each other soon after the removal of n2 gas and here the carbene will be formed so the carbene formation will be there means the extra addition step we have in case of stepwise mechanism of ulf rearrangement reaction and after that it might undergo it might undergo ketene formation directly just by migration of r1 to the carbene or else it will try to form the anti aromatic oxirin so the anti aromatic oxirin will be formed in such a way that the electrons will be donated here and the oxygen will be um, it will be attacking back towards the carbon and it will try to form the oxirin we know that oxirin is anti aromatic in nature so where it will be having zero resonance energy so it will be having zero resonance energy and that's why that's why it will try to open the ring so the oxygen ring will be anti aromatic and it will be having zero resonance energy it will try to open the structure and again it will be giving me the keto carbon that's why the arrow mark you can see here overall okay now again it will form keto carbon and this keto carbon again it will rearrange itself to form ketene so this is what overall regarding the concerted and stepwise mechanism of ulf rearrangement reaction and i guess i have covered all important uh, key points with respect to ulf rearrangement reaction and like this way we have to cover all the rearrangement reaction and definitely i am going to come up with different rearrangement reaction and finally uh, if you have any doubt or if you want anything to be explained from my side you can ping in the chat box or or else description box and definitely i am going to help you and thank you bye bye